Okay. So yesterday I told you some of the things like what is a uh, manual testing and why we do the manual testing or testing. So testing is done because uh, because when development is done, uh, at that point of time, there uh, might be developers can have some mistake. They can uh, do some mistake in creating the uh, application coding mistakes. So to to find out those mistakes. What we do as a tester, we actually test that application to improve its quality <laughs> and uh, to improve the uh, customer experience also. So that's why we do uh, uh, the testing is very important in any IT company to improve the quality, to remove the bugs and to improve the experience of, of the customer. So for that, there are two different ways of testing which is one one is manual testing and one is automation testing so these are not type of testing you can say it is a way of testing or there is a process behind testing that is manual testing and automation test okay so what is manual testing actually manual testing is when um, you are manually capturing uh, any application like for example if if this is an what's QA? QA is quality assur assurance. Quality assurance. Okay. Yeah. So if you are testing, for example, you are testing on this ITL 360 portal manually. So manually, what you will do is you will click on these buttons. You will see is this menu bar is opening All or not? courses. Yeah. If if you see these icons, social media icon, you will click on that. You will search here, like I search here QA, for example. Hey, when it testing for um, something, the computer, the software are a problem, right? Yeah. Like, like to resolve, we do that. We re to resolve, we do to resolve the problem, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, for example, I need to test the search bar. So, I will write here something like I just write here manual. And I mm -hmm. will click on the, uh, with this, I will get some result regarding manual. If I click on any of those links, it should take me to the particular course which I link. So what I'm doing, I'm actually manually operating the application. Okay. Uh -huh. That is the manual, the, that is manual test. Now, um, what is the important part in manual testing is, you need to write down the test cases. In the test cases, uh, everything is written like what we are testing, how we are testing, like its description, its detail, its its step, everything is written. Like it is it is a kind of record for us that what we have mm. tested. So we have to write it down. Done. Yeah, we have to write it down. So I'll show you that what how the test cases are written. I'll show you that. Uh -huh. So a small de definition for manual testing is. With the help of test cases, uh, if a QA tester performs testing, that is called manual test. Okay. Okay. Manual testing yeah. to write it down. Yes. The cases. Yeah. So manual testing does not need or does not require any kind of any sort of software or tool. So we don't no. need any tool to perform manual testing. We directly go to the application, we um, see the application, we perform the actions on the application and with that we are writing down the test cases as well. So we don't need okay. any tools. Yeah. Okay, is it clear? Yes, yes. You show me how to do testing, right? Yeah, I, I'm showing you that. We ju you're just telling me theory now. Uh, manual testing has the theory part only. Oh, that's it? Yeah, oh. manual testing has uh, like 75% theory so that you can understand the concept behind the test cases or, so, or and the testing. Oh, your, okay. Yeah, here the practical things which you are going to do is you will write down the test cases. You will learn how to write down or uh, create test cases. Okay, for manual. Yeah, for manual, but for automation, it's like 75% practical. There are codes, okay. codes which you need to learn and to remember okay, okay. the concept. So that is the th practical part. Okay. Yeah. So don't worry. After uh, I complete the manual part, like 
the basics so that a concept behind the testing which is why testing is done or this thing is done uh, uh, then you will go for automation and then we will start the other things which are in uh, involved here i'll explain you that thing let me explain the other things first okay yeah so automation testing is uh, like manual testing you have understand that manually you are performing any testing that is manual testing with the help of test cases what is automation testing so or by name you can understand that when something is happening automatically so that's why it is called automation testing why uh with the uh, in automation what we need is we need some uh, tools some so automated tools or software where we are going to write down the code mm -hmm. or scripts so when we write down those the, those code or scripts and when we run those so automatically mm -hmm. the uh, testing is performed by itself we don't need to sit on the like we did, did not need to perform the testing like uh, like i do like we do in the manual part uh -huh. automatically when our code is going to run uh, the testing is going to be performed okay we need a code okay yeah we we need to write down the code on some automation automation tool and when we run it uh, the testing is performed so oh. uh, for aut why we need automation when we need some speed in our testing there we we can use uh, automation testing okay okay yeah let me show you one so this is a very simple example just to to uh, so that you can understand that what is behind the um, concept of test cases so for example okay just take an example that um, you have uh, changed your lock like your main door lock and you need to test it okay like you are uh, in your, in your ho home there is there is some kind of some sort of locks your mm -hmm. door lock yeah you have replaced it and now you need to test that the replaced lock the new lock is working fine or not so for that if you are writing down the test cases first thing what you will see is you need to perform positive scenario and negative scenario both uh -huh. okay what is positive scenario positive scenario will be you are testing the lock with correct key and negative one you are testing the lock with incorrect key why why we are doing negative and positive both because with positive we already know that this out, output is going to come like if i am going to open the lock with a correct key i know that it the door is going to op open but if i am going to do uh, do for the negative scenario that i have a wrong key and i am trying to open the lock so i i need to check that what kind of outcome should uh, is going to come like i know that it should not open but i need to see the outcome okay okay so how we write down the test cases is you have these columns test case id test case you show me now manual or Ma manual i am manual i'm showing you manual part only okay we we'll write it like this okay yeah you just see it in this way okay so test case test case okay id then second column is your test case name Then you know have, when i write something it has to be the form like this yeah so i don't have this form to, to even to practice how i'm gonna get it well you don't have, have this to, uh, what you don't have uh, this thing uh, i don't this is the one this is this is microsoft your form is different you know uh, in your uh, like in your system you don't have excel yes you know i don't have excel Okay. Okay. Can you show me your screen? How I'm gonna get it? I have to buy. No, 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 no. Just uh, can you um, what you can do? How you can practice? Okay. Uh, just can you show me your screen? Just share your screen. Okay. Yeah. 
so this case id you have test case id this is the column then test case name then description then you have details tab then you have test data an expected result then actual result and then status okay so these are the columns which you have to create while you are creating the test so for example when all of these yeah these all these all these all the columns you need to fill up fill up when you are creating the test cases okay okay now for example because we are testing the log so how i am going to write down the test cases is first we have the id so id will be 01 okay okay then your test case name, name will be tc dash or underscore lock then zero one why lock right now because we are testing lock afterwards when you are testing any other thing like after that if you are testing any car so instead of lock you will write tc underscore car okay so whatever you are testing that will come in between here lock yeah then we have description so what we are testing so for that it is written here that can i open the lock using correct key so i so this is the positive scenario that i am trying to open the lock with a correct key so this is my description that i need to perform this thing so for doing this thing there is the second thing is detail step so put the correct key in lock and turn it right okay so this this is the step i need to follow for completing this step we need a data so the data which we have is correct key so if we have a correct we need key, a correct key yeah if we have a correct key then only we can able to lock the door is it is it clear uh -huh. okay if i am performing this the these this step with this data i expect a result that lock should be open i am expecting this result this is not my actual result i am expecting this result okay actual result if it is open you say open yeah actual result will be lock is open if it is open so you can write lock, lock. is open then if your expected result Status. and yeah if your expected result and actual result are equal to each other and so start that what was the status yeah th that's what i'm saying if your actual result and expected result are equal so your status will be pass okay or okay. failed yeah if they mm. are not equal so your status is failed is it clear yes i mean yeah but and it's or this is for example we're talking about the key uh, yeah. there is another thing right yes so it's just an example to understand that how the test cases are written you will not work with the key you will work on the login page registration page social media icons so that we will go further afterwards like right now it's it's important that you should understand the basic that how the uh, test cases are written mm. okay okay so if if your status get mm. failed okay so that time you get the bug why because for example you get what bug bug defect or bug bug uh, b u g okay yes why because if we have a correct key and i am not able to open the lock so that is the bug that that means there is some fault on the on the lock mm -hmm. is it so this is the whole table you need to create if we go for the negative situation 
again you have test case id so that you will write 2 then test case name so tc log 02 then your description is can i open the lock using wrong key so this is the negative situation that i am trying to open the lock with wrong key detail steps will be put the wrong key in lock and turn right data will be there you need right key here you need a wrong key and with mm -hmm. this we expect a result that lock should be open oh, sorry lock should not open and if mm -hmm. my actual result and expected result are equal so my status is passed or else it is failed okay okay A anything you need to ask in this part i mean this is clear I know this is clear and after this it's gonna be it. <laughs> no problem. No. You just go through it. Then if you face any difficulty, I'll just help you with that. Hmm. Okay. So uh, the other things uh, is what is HDLC and HDLC. So HDLC hmm. is uh, stands for Software Development Life Cycle. So this life cycle actually works on every IT company. It is very helpful for every IT company because it explains the whole development process. Okay, how what what is oh how you are, need to develop it, how you need to test it. Everything is mentioned in uh, like with this particular process. You can understand the development process. So. Here, if I click on this link, it will redirect you to the portal. You need to log in first. The credentials which has uh, which CAF has given you today, same credentials you can write here to log in. Uh -huh. When you log in, it will take you to a PPT. So it is written here that HDLC, Software Development Lifecycle, is a process used by software industries to design, develop, and test high-quality software. The HDLC aims to produce a high-quality software that meets or exceeds customer expectations, reaches completion within time, and cost estimate. Okay? Mm -hmm. These are the six phases of software development. So it starts with planning, then it goes to defining, designing, building, testing, and deploying. Now imagine like we go with an example, like for example, there is a client who has some market opportunity or required. So what he will do is he is going to hire a service provider, which is an IT industry, IT company. Okay. So he's going mm -hmm. to hire the service provider and from that service providing company, uh, somebody like business analyst or ma project manager is going to meet that uh, client and gather the requirements from them. And after gathering the requirement, they are going to plan those requirements in a synchronized way, in a proper way. Mm -hmm. And after planning those requirements, they are going to define those requirements in some documented way. There are different documents which are created before the development process starts. Okay? Okay. We are all the functionalities, business related things, software related things, everything is written in this in those documents. After those documents are de de uh, created, they are uh, going to distribute to the team members so that they can also understand the requirement. Now with, with that with, uh, with that particular uh, understanding of the requirement, designing team is going to start designing the software. Like how is the software is going to look like, what is the color, what are the patterns, how how it, it should look like. So that is the designing part. After designing is done, building going to start building, which is the coding part. So with, with those requirement document only, the uh, coders are going to, the developers are going to understand that what they need to do. And they are going to develop the application. And after the application is developed, they are going to give it to the testing team. And testing team is going to test the application till all the bugs are resolved. And when all the bugs are resolved, they are going to deploy it to the deployment team where deployment team is going to uh, deploy the project to, to the production level that means to the real world. 
ओके हेलो यस यस आई एम या ओके सो दिस दीज आर द दीज आर द सिक्स फेजेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट प्रोसेस so these are very okay. important because each and every different department as well as different mm-hmm. peoples are involved in these six phases like in planning mm-hmm. and defining business analyst or project manager is involved involved in designing web developers ui and ux designers they are involved mm-hmm. in building the developers are involved in testing testing team and in deployment is system administrators or Uh, cyber security people they are involved okay so if you okay. scroll it down all the steps which i have explained it to you right now all are written here as well so whenever there is sixth stage yeah there are, so hmm. if, whenever you get the time uh, after the session you just go through it you know what, what how can i go to to get this one you just need to like you come to this line oh okay. what is it okay and, and oh and your, go over there yes this is the link it will open this kind of box you just need to click on that it will redirect you here yes you click when you, you click want, it just go take you there yes mhm uh-huh. um. okay is it working in your system no i'm just trying okay can you can i share you mine yes 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 okay next topic is hdlc so you have seen in hdlc there are different phases like development testing designing so each other phase also have their life cycle same way for testing there is a life cycle which is software testing life cycle okay hdlc software testing life cycle it explains about its objectives its uh, like whole phases uh, how the testing process is start from 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 the starting to how it goes to the end so that is explained in this software testing life cycle life cycle you open this link so this is the whole phases of uh, software mm-hmm. testing life cycle so the first phase is requirement capture so what if you are working as a tester and uh, somebody has given you a document where all the requirements are written so what you will do is you are going to capture those requirement that means you are going to understand what what requirements are given there and how i need to go to those requirements so that you need to capture first okay hello 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 yes yeah, yeah. so uh, that you need to do first you need to capture the requirement through document or might be developers also can give you the dem- uh, demos of the application so with the demo also you will able to capture the requirement and with the documents also you will able to capture the requirement once you have captured the requirement you are going to analyze it like how you will also go to the application see how it runs um, uh, and how what is the flow of the application that means you are analyzing the requirement after you analyze the requirement next thing what you will do is you already know that what is in the application so according to that you will start planning the scenario so i already t- told you that scenarios are always positive and negative so for example if you are checking a button so you will test it that is it working or is it not working or is it taking you to the particular page or is it not taking you to the particular page okay okay yeah yeah after planning the scenarios you will start developing the test cases so the way mm-hmm. i explain you that you need to cre- cre- create that particular table and there you will start creating the test cases 
after creating the test cases you are going to execute those test cases that means you have written that that if you are if you are testing the log you need to test it with correct uh, correctly now you have written this thing now you will manually mm-hmm. go to the door you will put the correct key in the lock and turn it right to see the result that means you are executing it okay okay yes test execution okay. yeah then when your test execution is done and you get a successful result that means your test case got passed your status is changed to pass so you will close the cycle and analyze the result but if your test case got failed so that is sent to the defect fixing cycle where you will send it to the developer they will fix it so you they will fix the code and they will give you the modified version for that already the test case is developed you will retest it and then analyze the result okay okay yeah so for that if you click on this one hdlc concept you are what i explained it to you right now each and everything is written okay so that also you can read whenever you get the time so with this uh, i think you you got an idea that how the 